Hey guys, hope you haven't missed me too much. Uh, this weekend I've actually been talking, uh, working a little bit on Avoid uh, Linux, more specifically on uh, XPPS SRC. And this is what I wanted to share with you this uh, one time. So the idea is to essentially set up a basic XPPS SRC environment where you can essentially compile stuff from code, right? So in case you don't know, this is what XPPS source is for. So you get a distribution file, which is essentially the source code for the program you want. And uh, then you can use it. It's just a little bash script I'll show you later. Uh, the, and then you use it in order to install it. So rather, let's put it better. You use it in order to compile it and uh, then turn it into a binary package. So that is compatible with XPPS. It's a .xpps file and you can then use it in order to install it by using your xbps install command so just as you would install a remote package for example there are several kind of more complicated features that i won't get into this time mostly because i don't know about them myself so i've been working with this for a few days but i still haven't uh, tried out all the features uh, but as i advance you are also you guys are also free to ask me questions. So if you want to direct me towards anything, uh, you can just ask me stuff on the comments. And now getting into it. So this is the void packages repository. And this is where essentially all of the packages that are that exist for void Linux exist. So this contains not only the regular packages, but also restricted ones. And the restricted packages are the ones that uh, mostly they are proprietary software and uh, they are essentially packages that are built uh, that rather that are, have templates built for void Linux, but that aren't distributed. So they are not available through your XPPS query, for example, or your XPPS install. You can't look them up in repositories because they're not distributed. And one such example is Discord, which you can actually install via XPPS SRC, but not via the regular XPPS install command. Uh, this, uh, this usually has to do with licensing, but it can have other reasons as well for why it's not appearing on the void Linux main repos. Now, with that said, we're going to look uh, into how to set up the environment and then we'll try to uh, install a simple package from source just to show you guys what it looks like. So I follow this quick start guide, which is here in the readme. Uh, it takes a little while to clone the repository and do the, the bootstrapping, so I already did that in advance. Uh, let's take a look into it. So let's go into my documents git folder, and this is where I keep uh, my git files usually, so notice that it's already here, void packages. And uh, this is xbps src, so this is a bash script, as I was saying. And it just does all the different steps of uh, essentially compiling stuff from source and then uh, and then kind of packaging it in the XPPS format. Uh, additionally, inside of this source packages uh, directory is where you have all of the of the packages for Void Linux. So this includes uh, most of the regular suspects, such as for example uh, CalSafe. So let's just grab for CalSafe. Uh, it's going to contain essentially all the packages that you have. So uh, whatever you can think of that's in the Void Linux repositories, for example, LibreOffice. I think it's a lowercase l, not never sure. So oh, this is LibreOffice again, uh, but also Discord, as I was saying. So you can get a template for Discord, which means that you'll be installing it from source and then packaging it locally uh, on your machine. Uh, you can do this. You can do the same thing for Microsoft Teams. It's Teams bin, the name of the package. I'm not going to install any of these, but if you want to, you just need to set this flag. So you'd need to echo XBPS allow restricted to the etc.com file inside of here. So here, you can create a com file and then just uh, type in this. So XBPS allow restricted. And it's going to allow restricted packages to be uh, built on your environment. I'm not going to do any of that right now. We'll just take a look at a simple package. So I'll go once again into source packages and then I'll enter the CalSafe directory. 
and this contains a template for building Calsay the package. So these are some of the, again, information that it needs. So the name of the package, the version, etc. cetera. Uh, notice this also contains a license and the dependencies. So in this case, Calsay is a Perl program. So you need Perl, excuse me, installed in order to run it. This, this file is going to be the URL where you are getting the tarball from. And this tarball is essentially the source code. So this is the tar of the source code that you're going to compile. And these functions here, they are essentially overrides. So they are actually going to answer, uh, they're going to override specific steps of the building process. I'm not going to go into much of the details, but uh, again, they are defined on a pay per package basis as you need them. So if you need something different than the default behavior. So let's try installing this one package. I'll go back to the root and let's go XPPS SRC package. I'll try to install CalSafe. And it's going to, again, update my repositories. It's going to grab any dependencies in case it needs them. And it's going to run these scripts. So these are all the steps of building the package. And this includes essentially the packaging itself. So creating the .xpps file. And I can confirm that I've created that .xpps file by going into this directory host there and then bin packages. And the notice that I already tried installing the open for the OS VPN. So this is for 40 gate, but most importantly, I have the .xpps for the file that we just created. So this is Calsy. Now, once that is there, I can actually install it manually by using the regular xbps install command. So xbps install that in this case, I'm going to specify that I want the local repository, which is where we were. So host there and then bin packages and the name of the package is Calsy. Entering my password. In this case, the package is already installed. I probably have it from the, the regular version. So I'll just remove it. XBPS remove dash R Calsay. Yes. And then I can install it from this directory. So not too much of a, not too much of a mystery. Now I can simply install or uh, use it as normal. So this is just a regular program. Now I installed it via XBPS, uh, the compiled from source version of it. Now what you can do once you understand this scheme is that you can essentially apply patches to packages. So let's say that I want to make a change to the source code and add a new feature. I can use this tool in order to introduce patches, but this is something a bit more complicated and is not something that we'll be covering in this video. Uh, the idea here was to just give you an idea again of what you can do with this tool. And uh, I think that this is a good place to, to end it. So essentially we've seen how basic usage of XBPS RC is. And also we've seen how to set up the environment so that you can essentially uh, build packages locally and also how to get restricted passive, uh, packages in case you have a need for any one of those that I mentioned. And you can also look on the void packages repository if any of those packages interest you. So that's pretty much it for this time, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.